Hello, you're welcome. Here, let's solve this nice exponent system of equation. And then let's call this as equation 1 and here as equation 2. Now, from equation 1, we multiply both sides by 5 raised to power x. And this will be 5 raised to power x multiplied by 5 raised to power x plus 5 raised to power y then equals to 30 multiplied by 5 raised to power x. Then, here we can open this bracket and then we have 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power x then plus 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power y which is equals to 30 times 5 raised to power x. Then from here, 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power x. Let's write that as 5 raised to power x all squared. So then plus here, we can write this as 5 raised to power x plus y. Then equals to 30 times 5 raised to power x. Then from here, we have x plus y here from equation 2 is 3. So we have x plus y to be 3 from equation 2 then when we substitute that we can write again as 5 raised to power x all square then plus 5 raised to power 3 which is equals to 30 times 5 raised to power x then from here we have 5 raised to power x comma let a letter now represent that let u be equals to 5 raised to power x then we can write this equation as u square plus 5 cube. That's the same thing as 125. So plus 125. Then equals to 30u. So let's take 30u to this side to form an equation. So we have x square minus 30u. Then plus 125 equals to zero now let's factorize this and uh, the two factors will be minus 25u minus 5u so if you have minus 25u minus 5u here this will give us minus 30u and when we multiply it we are going to get plus 125u squared so we can combine this now and uh, equate it to zero and from here what is common between these two here now is u, then into bracket u minus 25, then minus 5 comma here, then we have u minus 25, which is equals to 0. So u minus 25 is common, u minus 25 then times u minus 5 equals to 0. Then we have two possible cases here. We have u minus 25 equals to 0 or we have u minus 5 equals to 0. Then from here u is equals to 25 or we have u is equals to 5. Don't forget we represented u as 5 to the power of x. So we said let u be 5 raised to the power x. Then when we bring it down here, we have 5 raised to power x will then be equals to 25, which can be written as 5 squared. So the base are equal, then from here we can say x is equals to 2 from here. And on this side, we also have 5 raised to power x, which can be written as 5 raised to power 1. And from here we have x to be equals to 1. From equation 3, we have x plus y is equals to 3. From here, we can get the value of y from here. That is, y will now be equals to 3 minus x. Now, when we use this here, we are going to get, let this be x1 and this be x2. So, we can get y1 now from here. y1 will then be equals to 3 minus x1. That's 3 minus 2. So y1 here will be equals to 1. So from here we can write x1 comma y1. The first set of solution will then be 2 comma 1. 
from here then on this side we can get y2 as well so from here using this y2 will now be equal to 3 minus x2 which is 3 minus 1 and that's y2 now equals to 3 minus 1 that's 2 then we can say x2 from our y2 from here will give us 1 comma 2 so from here we have these two sets or solution from here then from what we are given in equation 1 we have 5 raised to power x plus 5 raised to power y equals to 30 let's check one of these you know let's check the first one here we have 5 raised to power x here is 2 plus 5 raised to power y here is 1 is it equals to 30 then when we look at this 5 squared is 5 times 5 which is 25 then plus 5 raised to power 1 that's 5 is this equals to 30 of course 25 plus 5 is 30 which is equals to 30 left hand side equals to the right hand side then this particular solution satisfy the equation and same thing this also will satisfy the equation thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more exciting videos and turn on the notification bell you can share this video also put your comment in the comment section and thank you see you next class and bye for now